Greetings. Happy New Year. We're going to start off the year talking about popcorn. Not anywhere close to anything I was thinking about, but you know what? Got a new haircut. Got some popcorn that I ordered online. So that's where we're going to start. And I'm going to say that I've got to stop being on Instagram <laughs> because I see these things on Instagram and I end up sending them to myself via email so that I can pull it up on the computer rather than on my phone. And most of the time I'm able to talk myself out of it. But I did buy the bang cookies, which I actually enjoyed. And so now I've got signature popcorn and they call it gourmet popcorn. I guess gourmet is just another word for fancy. So they have a whole bunch of different flavors. And I decided to go ahead and order three different flavors because it comes like in a two bag pack, a three bag pack. You can buy it like in the big tins. And I'm not sure if you can buy it any other ways because I really didn't concentrate on it. I concentrated on just getting three bags because I wanted three different flavors. What's my favorite number? Three. So I got three flavors. And truthfully, I only remember one of the flavors I bought because when you get the receipt by email, it doesn't tell you what you bought. It just says you bought a three pack. So I'm going to be as surprised as y'all are, except for the one I remember. And I went ahead and I cut the box open. So we didn't have to waste a lot of time with me trying to open up this thing. And I have not opened it up yet. Even though the thumbnail will show three different popcorns, I'm going to be kind of surprised like y'all are. So here we go. Signature popcorn. Ah, goodness, goodness, goodness. And I'm not even going to look at that thing. So here's what we got. Just so y'all know, I am not one of those people who basically likes fancy popcorns. For instance, I love going to the movie theater because I like butter on my popcorn. Whenever I buy microwave popcorn, I add my own butter to it. So I love that. And the only other thing that I've actually liked in the past are two things. One is that we have a caramel corn store in the Syracuse area. So I've always enjoyed theirs, but you know what? It's warm when you get it. So it's just, this feels like love. <laughs> and I've got this thing for the butter toffee crunch and munch. I love that. I don't like their caramel because it's not warm. And I know you could probably warm it up, but my mind just thinks if I did that, it just wouldn't taste fresh. So I'm not really big on fancy. So it turns out <laughs> the first one I bought is butter. So I went to a gourmet popcorn place and I bought butter. Well, let's find out how that tastes when I get to it. This next one, very interesting because I don't like cheese popcorn, but Something that called itself cheesy bacon. Can you see that? Where is it on there? Eh, doesn't matter. There it is for a brief moment. Cheesy bacon. I don't know why I went ahead and got this. Probably because of the bacon. I hope the bacon makes it better than the cheese. I have very little confidence in the cheese part. But this is the reason I bought it. Peanut butter cup. <laughs> I love my Reese's peanut butter cups. I love chocolate and peanut butter anything. I like chocolate peanut butter ice cream, chocolate peanut butter candy, chocolate peanut butter brownies, chocolate peanut butter whatever you can think of. I love my chocolate and peanut butter. I've never seen peanut butter cup or peanut butter and chocolate on popcorn. Like I said, I've never been a fan of all these different things. I tasted chocolate uh, covered popcorn many 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 years ago back in my 20s absolutely hated it so i said i'm never doing that again yeah i have some long hate every once in a while so these are the three i got and i'm gonna start off believe it or not with the cheesy bacon and just so you know they're this is five ounces so this is a five ounce bag it's, a, you know, it's not a bad size. And it says that it's non-GMO corn, zero trans fat, no preservatives, gluten-free. I don't know what any of that means. I don't care. 
but I guess it means it's okay. There is no dietary stuff on here, however. Just so you know, there's nothing to scan. So I hope when I go to log my food later on at some point, I mean, you know, right now I'm not going to do it because I'm just doing the tasting. But at some point, I hope that I can find nutritional values on these things so I can log it into the food thing. We'll be talking about that in another video. But for right now, let's try this. The bag, well sealed. You peel that off. You open it up. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. Here we go. Man. Okay. The bacon aftertaste isn't bad. But the cheesy part, I am not a fan. I'll probably end up eating it anyway. I may end up mixing it with the butter at some point, depending on how the butter tastes. It's salty, just so you know that. But, you know, it's not bad. Got my water. Because y'all know how it is when you eat your popcorn. You need to keep drinking. Either it's salty or you get some of that little... Uh, remnants of popcorn that seems to stay in your mouth regardless. So this time I'm going to go straight for the butter. And this has no smell whatsoever. Then again, unless your popcorn is nice and warm, you know, like if you go to the movie theater or after you've popped it, you don't necessarily smell it. But let's try the regular butter. Okay, it's butter popcorn, <laughs> and it's good. Once again, it's salty. This is a bad theme. Um, obviously, like almost everybody else, I love pop, uh, salt on my popcorn, but I'm not crazy about it being overly salty. Still, it's pretty tasty. I'm just going to wor worry about mixing it with the cheesy bacon, though, since both of them are salty. Just to think about that. By the way, let me just mention this. Buying the three bags, it came to $25.99. Yeah, I paid a bunch of money for a pre-pop popcorn. However, anything that comes over $25, shipping is free. So, I didn't have to pay for shipping. I did have to wait 11 days before I got it. But, you know, it's holiday season, so maybe during the regular part of the year, it doesn't take as long. But, there you go. So, we shall see. We shall see. You know what? <laughs> it may be salty, but I'm just going to... One little bit more. Got my water. By the way, the Fiji bottles... But I refill them with regular water. They seem to hold the water flavorful better than using any other bottles. So I have eight of these. I've been going to the store looking to find this size again. But all of a sudden they're not selling this size. So I'm not buying it. And finally, the reason that I bought it, please don't let me down. Peanut butter cup. By the way, these bags reseal really well. So you can keep it fresh. Doesn't smell as good as I had hoped. It looks like it's supposed to, though. Hey, you know what? There you go. That's all. Okay, this is the crunchiest of the bunch. All the bags way different. This one here is 11 ounces. And that's not bad. Peanut butter cup. I will say, it doesn't necessarily taste like a peanut butter cup. The chocolate seems to be better than, well, that chocolate covered popcorn that I ate. Oh my goodness, is that almost 40 years ago? Goodness, I'm getting old. <laughs>
But this is very tasty. Because this is the reason that I bought all of it to begin with. I'm not mad at this. Mmm. Not mad at this at all. Now, ain't gonna lie. I don't see me buying this stuff again like that. I think it's interesting to do what I call the one-off. Where you see something and you say, okay, I'm gonna try that. But it would have to be perfect for me to do this again. Butter popcorn, I can get that anywhere. Cheesy, I'm not crazy about the cheesy. I mentioned about the cheesy bacon. It's flavorful, but I don't like the cheese as much. This here is good, but I probably don't need <laughs> three bags of this all the time. Oh my goodness. Uh, Crunch and Munch, your toffee, I will still be looking for you more often than not. Anyhow, this is what I think. I think it's good. To, it tastes good. Uh, the peanut butter cup works for me. It doesn't taste like a Reese's peanut butter cup. But then again, nothing is going to taste like a Reese's peanut butter cup except a Reese's peanut butter cup. This is my thing. Anyway, if any of y'all have tried this or if you're thinking about it, let me know. And I hope that this review did something for you. Let me have my little quick sip here. Just to clear that out. Anyway, my name is Mitch Mitchell. Like I said, we're bringing in the new year talking about popcorn. <laughs> Let's see how things go. I wish everybody a wonderful 2022. Y'all take care. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Y'all take care.